Gatsby is a framework built on React that helps developers build blazing fast apps and websites. It works by pulling data from anywhere and having it output into a highly optimized build that's deployable across a variety of services anywhere on the web. With a rich variety of plugins and starters to use as templates, Gatsby makes building a highly performant project much more manual. Gatsby is currently one of the most popular static site generating tools and web frameworks. It has been starred by nearly 33,000 people on GitHub and also boasts a remarkable near 1,800 contributors to the project. Its popularity is rising and is downloaded around 400,000 times a week according to NBM Trends. Notable users of Gatsby are React and SendGrid for Docs. Airbnb for blogging, and Figma, as well as Nike for marketing and landing page sites. For more information about Gatsby in general, the docs are easily understood for beginners. And the site also features galleries that show off plugins starters, and live sites currently using Gatsby. To get started building our landing page, we need to make sure Gatsby is installed by running npm install dash dash global Gatsby. Once Gatsby is installed, we'll be able to run the Gatsby new command with the link to a starter we'd like to use as a starting point for our project. We're going to use this minimal landing page starter. From those starters repository on GitHub, we can copy the clone link that it gives us, go to our command line, type Gatsby new, the name of what our project will be, and then paste in the link from GitHub. This will clone the starter from the repository we gave it and install all dependencies we'll need to run the site in one command. Once the Gatsby new command is finished, we can then see our project navigate into it, and then run the Gatsby develop command to see the site running inside a browser. Copy and paste the link that the develop command outputs and our site should already be up and running. Files in a Gatsby project are similar to other React apps, though some are unique to just Gatsby. The cache folder helps save time in development by storing already built files that can be reused. Node modules contains all the third-party code we're using to help develop our site, and will contain any additional packages we install with npm or yarn. The public folder is what will be deployed on the web. The source folder is where we'll make edits to the structure of our site that we'll see in development. The Gatsby config file is where we'll install plugins and make additional options for Gatsby. By opening and editing a file in the source folder, we can make changes and see them updated live in the browser. We'll go to the source folder, components, and open up the hero.js file. Inside of here, we can change contents of the HTML structure that will make updates live on the page. After saving, those files will be rebuilt by Gatsby, and the updates will be displayed without having to refresh. Plugins are part of what make Gatsby so fast and so powerful. We can tell from our package.json file that one plugin the starter is using is Gatsby Image. Gatsby Image will automatically generate smaller, optimized versions of images we have in our project to speed up load times. You'll notice when I empty cache and hard reload in the browser, the mockup content inside of this, uh, the hero section of the page, will start uploading as a blurrier image and then fading into the full-size clear image. Gatsby's image component acts much like the native HTML image tag, but does the work of first loading the blurred version of the image and then fading in the full-sized image once it's finished loading. And we tell Gatsby to look for all files in the images folder in the Gatsby config. We can add a different file to the images folder and Gatsby image will handle generating different sizes to display automatically.
If we just change the reference to the file we're loading in our image component, we'll get a new image displayed on the page. Styles can be applied in a Gatsby project like they would in any other website, but because Gatsby has many configurations already in place, implementing more advanced styling options like a CSS preprocessor or a CSS and JS solution is usually as simple as installing a plugin. In our button component, we can see that this starter has a simple set of colors defined in a JavaScript file that we're using to style the button element. We can go to that file in the styles constants file and update these colors to see the changes propagated throughout components in the site. If we go back to the button component, we can see that we're also applying styles from a normal CSS file. We can make changes in here as well that will also be applied to the button. When we're ready to put our site online, the Gatsby build command will compile all the assets in our source folder into a small lightweight bundle inside the public folder that can be deployed. Files inside the public folder won't resemble the files in our source folder because they'll have been compressed and minified to run faster in production. The public folder can be served up and then viewed online. To use search to deploy your site, run npm install dash dash global surge. Once it's been installed, you can run the search command inside the public folder. After creating an account with Surge, you can accept the default options to have your site hosted for free on one of Surge's subdomains. With your site online and accessible from anywhere on the web, you can run the page through a performance audit. The audit displays near-perfect scores that match Gatsby's claims of blazing fast performance. This concludes this tutorial of building a landing page with Gatsby.